so, Salit. Alright, Salit takes out from under his, uh, his outfit uh, a rapier. And he will end up one, two, three, four, five, three. Alright, that's all he can do, is move, move that way. Um, the spirits. Alright, this spirit is going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. And he's actually going to go over, over, over Tyrion, and he's going to swing and try to claw at you. Oh, oh no! Oh no! He, you actually manage to like dodge out of the way as the the wraith-looking thing uh, misses. Um, I scream. Ah! As this thing. Pasha, you're up. Yoke, I. See. I suppose having a bastard sword under my dress would be a bit too much. <laughs> um, I mean, realistically, I think Salit was armed himself, so I think he might have been able to figure out a clever way, some clever way that you could hide one. Well, I guess, no, nah, we'll give you something smaller. Like a dagger or um, a short sword? Maybe. I would say a short sword. I'm, I'm going to say you can probably fit a short sword. He can figure out a way to fit a short sword there. Okay, I think so that, like, she knows how to fight, at least. Can you fire with light blades? Um, yeah, she. Okay. She also has a gauntlet, so maybe she's got that incorporated <laughs> into the outfit, so it looks like. Yeah, that thing. works too. Okay. Yeah, that works she too. It's ready to punch, and um. Okay. okay. So. Ten, twelve. So she'll get up to there. She probably will shout to the two young boys. You know, get to safety. Get to safety. I've forgotten her accent. Okay. Leon, you're up. Oh boy. Um, he's gonna hand off the dagger to um, Tyrion as uh, he has no idea how to pick locks. Yeah. Uh, does, does he have any magical um, uh, training as in can he do an arcane lance yet? or? I think so. I think that... I th- well, I think he d- did not yet but i think because of all what's happening around you the fade has has actually like opened up which means your connection to the fade has actually been amplified so i think this is probably the first time that you would fire off a lance if you were going to in order to protect your new friend all right uh he's gonna give the dagger to to leon i mean to Tyrion, and be like get away from him and then just sort of yeah <laughs> yeah. Come here, come here. <laughs> roll whatever you have to roll. Yes. Okay. Does it come going home like Adam with the <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Leon, this has never happened to you before, but like in desperation, you like hold out your hand, blah, <laughs> and this bolt of energy actually shoots forth from the palm of your hand and strikes at the wraith. The Wraith is actually taken aback by this. As you damage him, how much damage do you do? I do this. All right, five points of damage. The Wraith hisses towards your direction. Um, Describe uh, Leon's reaction to casting essentially his very first like real spell or attack spell. So uh, first of all, he's gonna look down at his palm which is still uh, all green. He like, leaves! Uh, I just like, <laughs> how did you do that? I can I just say, in shock. And then... Leon says, the power of chlorophyll. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he's going to be a little taken aback by the wraith, because uh, the wraith is, is a little, little murderous. The power of chlorophyll compels you. The power of chlorophyll compels you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if that's it, uh, Corin is r- r- gonna ignore both his mom and his and this strange woman, um, and he is going to continue attacking. All right. Unfortunately, uh, he tries to attack with the daggers, and it clangs against the armor of the dark spawn and does no damage. And Corin kind of curses under his breath. Lyria, 
um, is going to use uh, is going to try to uh, strike Wait, what's, the dark. What's her spawn. initiative? Yeah, the three. Like, yeah. Lyria's a three. So she's oh, way three. <laughs> Oh, so she. This I'm sorry. She would have she been, would have been after, back. right after Pasha, yeah. right after Pasha. So yeah. you can do it still, though. So, I say. I say you can still do her turn, like, because you missed it. So. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you did it last so turn, this right? Because you did the the rolling, rolling pin or whatever attack. Mm -hmm. No, she didn't do anything. Oh, she didn't do it. I just okay. said she had it. She had it. She just didn't do anything. She just. So she swings at the at the um, creature, and the creature, um, uh, and misses the creature. Uh, basically blocks and i think she is going to forcibly push uh corin aside so she will actually take like a basically a five foot step is what i'm calling it in yeah, okay. terms and just pushes her son aside and i think she's just going to have this stance where she's got the rolling pin in one hand and she's sort of like holding back her children with the other hand um Tyrion, you're up. I have Tyrion just has a dagger and just looks at this. Let's right, see if this works. And I'm going to put on my shot because I'm going to try like uh, open it using like lockpicking skills. Like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, all right. So let's see if it goes well. Um, wow, that's is an 18. Nice. <laughs> a dagger. All right. Yeah, with this dagger, you are going to be able to um, uh, shimmy open the shackles, uh, and they unlock. Alrighty, uh, can I still do an attack by a chance, or not? Um, I unfortunately I think that's going to be your action. action. Major action, alright. So yeah, your action, major but... action. So I think you have minor. Alright, the minor action. I guess I will kind of stand firm, just like leave him low, you ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe no one was attacking, attacking me, but still. And I have a dagger out in desperation, but it's my turn. Uh. Dare them, you're up. All right. <sighs> do I want to try for the big spell again? Up to you, man. You do you. I mean, I kind of do, but I also don't. Murder them all. Do it. Murder. That's the thing. Like, murder. It's, it's a big murder spell, but it's also hard to cast. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. That's it's the point of the spell. Do I, do I want to be singularly cruel or mass cruel? Oh, well, first I'll take just a step up sorry pasha <laughs> and uh, does anyone have to roll anything when you do well, that well first or? let me see if i want to ah fuck it why not i'll just do the big spell again <laughs> make the roll again then huh? uh please roll better this time no mother of fucks <laughs> you're, you're not rolling well um and put it this way, I'm not spending any mana, so that's nice. So, okay, so you tried to cast something, it didn't quite work, yep. unfortunately. And is that all you can do? I mean, that's the major action, and I moved up. All right. Yep. All right. So. Okay. I'm going to ignore Mommy and go up one square and attempt to knock this dark spawn prone so we got room to run out of here. <laughs> nice. Ouch. So, okay. Six, seven, ten. ten. That's the ten. So um, unfortunately, that's not going to be enough um, to take down the dark spawn. Oh, uh, I'm going to say that with an, an eight, it's probably not going to get your defense, right? No. Keep in mind, though, that you, you're not wearing any armor. Um, and then, oh, I'm so sorry. That was supposed to be a plus five. So he actually does hit. Ouch. He meets. He meets it. Sorry. So you take. So he takes the full damage in this case. Yes, yeah, so you take the full seven points of damage. That's gonna put seven me right at thirty. Okay. So the other dark spawn tries to attack uh, your mom. Um, that's gonna hit. Ten. Okay. Not going good for us. <laughs> Your mom tries to, to hold you back. Um, he swings his battle axe. It actually catches um, her leg right above her knee, and she winces in pain. Ah! And she just curses at the, the dark spawn. Um, she's still up, uh, but she does seem to be bleeding. Uh, um, 
quite a bit. So, um, Salit. He is now going to... There's such a thing as... In Dragon Age, is there such a thing as uh, getting bonuses for rogues when they are uh, flanking? Yeah, back yeah. flanking? Uh, back so there's a back step ability. Back you can't, as long as you move up to them, you have to make a spell scroll against a perception. If it succeeds, you do extra damage. I'll actually post attack so because I have the ability right. Here. Okay. Oh, what kind of roll against perception? Uh, stealth, uh, de uh, dexterity stealth versus perception seeing from the enemy. So. Gotcha. Okay. There's the text. Large, large one. <laughs> I know. Ooh, he rolled a very good stealth. So, let's see what he get. I don't think the perception is that amazing. No, it's not that amazing. Nope. Okay, so he takes backstab damage, which adds an additional damage. Yes, one extra d6 and plus to the attack. So, yeah. Nice. So, from behind, Salit does a bit of a backstab and does 11 points of damage to the creature. Um, so, he basically, and as he's doing this, uh, he actually says, So, when a boy and a girl <laughs> like each other oh, very okay. much, and as he says that, he sticks the rapier through. Something like this happens. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and he actually sticks it, like, in the area, in the nether realm area. He says, sometimes in the front, but sometimes in the back. He says as he sticks, as he sticks his rapier. <laughs> I'm gonna write these ideas for if I do make a video like that. <laughs> Got the biggest look of disbelief on my face. If Darethim was was uh, not a dark spawn anymore, he'd probably be like, "Ooh, Henry." Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> All right, back to uh, the spirit. Okay, the spirit is going to try to claw at you again, Tyrion. Ooh. 14! Alright, that, that, that's a hit! And I don't have armor, correct? You do not have armor, yep. so unfortunately you take this full damage. Which is? Alright, which is... Um, you take 5 points of damage. Owie! That's hard. <laughs> I just get... <laughs> oh! Alright. Um, he actually... Uh, well, to add insult to injury, Leon and Tyrion, he actually claws at the same spot that had the bruise oh. that you had just healed. Ah. You just healed it. I just you and, leave. and now there's there's a fresh fresh wound as the blood starts to pour down your arm. Pasha, you're up. Okay. So that's two, four, six, seven, eight. And I am going to um Swing my fist at this guy. Okay. Okay. Nope. Oh, no. No. Oh no. Critical <laughs> fail. Oh no. One. Triple one. Sorry, oh, Pasha. That's why. <laughs> under GM discretion, so he can do whatever he feels like. I love All the right. fact that not a good game be warrior. <laughs> I love the fact that the two people who got the most likes in their interviews are doing the worst in the polls. <laughs> okay. Um, roll me a 1d2, Pasha. Just roll me a 1d2. I have 50% chance. I just want to see what you get. Oops. <laughs> okay. You swing your weapon around, and unfortunately, you, you miscalculate uh, your swing, and it uh, ends up completely missing the darkspawn, and instead, it actually makes contact with uh, Salit's uh, shoulder, <laughs> and you hear Sleep yell out, ah, ha, ha, ah, ha, ah, painful, ah, ha. <gasps> and do your damage on Salit. How much damage do you do to Salit with the, with the um, short sword? <laughs> Two! Two. <laughs> I have a plus one, so I rolled another one. What's your strength also? Because you do add, get, add strength on your gauntlet also. That's oh, did. um, then that's a... Five. Five. Five, five yeah. Five. <laughs> 
Salid says, okay, okay, I'll stop with the lessons. I'll stop with this, with this, the lessons, I promise. Uh, Lyria is up. All right, she is uh, again going to try to swing at these things if she can. Eat dough. Okay, now she hits, now she hits. Um, and then she does damage. Which is 1d6 because I'm treating the rolling pin as a club. Six full damage! Hey, full nice. damage. Hey, nice. Does she adds her strength to that also? Or <laughs> she does. Oh. Sorry, she does. So we'll add a lot another. Yep, another. There you go. Four. Um, and then again, she's gonna continually try to like back her kids up, but I'm assuming you guys are not budging. No, you guys are not. Need, need a clear path. <laughs> okay. Um, she's probably going to yell at, at both Rousseau and Alren, and she says, Boys, run. And that's all she's going to do. Uh, Leon, you're up. Hey, um, uh, uh, he's going to see that uh, um, poor Tyrion is getting stabbed a bit. And uh, he's gonna try to move in front of him and do chlorophyll. <laughs> nice <laughs> chlorophyll attack. Uh, Spread. And I want to say the lance is green too. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. That's gonna hit. Six roll for damage. Why can't I roll like that? Nice. <laughs> nice. And you can do stunts. Yes. Stunts. What would you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a combat. Yeah. I guess. Um. I'll do a, a pierce armor uh, and a dual strike. Uh, who's the second target? Oh well, is there one? Oh, I guess I can do two lightning attacks, right? Then, so I get uh, two. Uh, Rules-wise, you can only do one combat stun per turn, but this, from what I knew, from what I know from that, but it's a GM oh, okay. discretion. So, for right now, one combat yeah. stun per turn. For right now, just one. But you, but you can't do Persona or Enlightening Tech if you wish. Then you just lose the last one. Okay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. Alrighty. So the so, first attack, go, uh, if it has armor, it's halved. So roll your damage. Ooh! Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. It's a good attack. And that's, uh, if it has armor, it's half armor. I believe it's round. Alright. Cool. And so um, second attack. Roll again. Second attack. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Leon's doing the work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this kid, man. All right. So, Leon, um, you strike it with one arcane lance, and again, it almost blows. It essentially, like, blows a hole right inside the body of the wraith, and it seems to have, like, a slither of health left. Then you blast it with a second blast. Give us a cinematic of Leon making his first kill. <laughs> this little seven-year-old boy. The so, ginger um, is snap. So uh, he jumps over, jumps over uh, um, uh, Tyrion, and then goes <laughs> and uh, two arcane lances uh, fly out of his hands, and then. Uh, as as the, the the wisp starts to fade away, he lands right where the wisp was going to be. You know, nice. You don't mess with my friends. Nice. All right. So the wisp the wisp disappears as you land the other side. Uh, what do you do next? Um. Uh, I guess I'll check on Tyrion. <laughs> Karen seems to be hurt. Uh, it's just a uh, it's burn. I've only had any. I, I, I the cart fell in fell in the hole. I I don't know if I can get any more of that elf 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 fruit. Elf fruit. Uh, never mind that. What's going around uh, around here? I kind of look around as the landscape's changing a bit. <laughs> Corin is going to um come up to here so he can do a attempt to do a backstab. He, that will hit. And now he's going to try to do a stealth roll against... Um, ooh, actually he rolled pretty high. So... 
Okay, he does a backstab. Nice, good job, Tyrion. Uh, I'm Here. sorry, good job, uh, Corin. Oh. Corin, not Tyrion. Um. Oh, there's two Sams. Oh no, <laughs> duplications. Who are you? <laughs> the real Sam. <laughs> um, uh, definitely me. <laughs> Tyrion, uh, what do you do now? Uh. Uh, kind of just looking around, is there like anything else that might come out like an inner spirit? Yeah, so again, everything is rearranging. The entire, um, the entire environment actually starts to like tilt sideways. Because you know how like in the fade things are like yeah. upside down, sideways yeah. and whatever. And it sort of like tilts sideways. I would like for, um, Leon and Terran to roll a dexterity roll. Uh, I think balance. Is there a balance? Acrobatics would probably be the thing. Acrobatics roll yeah. a roll a dexterity acrobatics. Straight. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh! I got a, fifth, a sixteen with six some points. Okay. Um, as the entire scene starts to tilt over to the right, um, you guys are trying to hold your balance, but then. I'm going to say that Leon, um, especially as a seven-year-old, he actually slips and he falls over the railing. I and he, uh, if you want to try to catch him, Tyrion, you're going to have to make another dexterity roll to try to catch him. Can I use my points, maybe? To, to like, grab you him? You may. You could. You could. <laughs> so, I, but I still have to make a roll match. Is it dexterity, you said, to catch him again? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Please don't... Uh, 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 12. <laughs> okay. So, so the six points. Yeah. Good. So, so the six, the six sun points you used was to was to specifically do what? To what help. To, to quickly like, grab him before he can like fall. Yes. All right. So, um, you move to grab him. So with the six, you will be able to move close enough mm-hmm. to grab him. You try to grab him with that dexterity roll. He just barely slips past your fingers. However, however, um, I'm gonna say that uh, Sam, or Leon rather, manages to grab a hold of the shackles that was around your ankles. So he grabs a hold of it, which actually pulls your leg right up against the the wall of the bridge. Oh, grab! The wall of the bridge. And now Leon is dangling um, with holding on to the shackles for dear life with the water rushing underneath the uh, both of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to swim in the water like this. Hold on! All right. <laughs> got these shackles. Meanwhile, uh, Dare Thim, you're up. I don't know, because it's so good to do the big attack. <laughs> And it's only a 12% chance. Like, it's the same as getting an 11 or a 10. I'm serious. <laughs> do uh, what you feel like doing. I want to do the big attack. But I feel like I'm going to fail again. And you're losing HP as you use that, so... Yeah, alright, alright, fine. One more time. I freaking <laughs> care. That's amazing. I will make more dark spawns. I will make some dark spawns. <laughs> I more just want to do the damage. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, he succeeds. Finally. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Yay, but yeah. Oh, no. That being said. So. All right. All right. I'm happy now. So every single target except for the two dark spawn needs to make a... A constitution stamina test versus 16. So it's literally all the piece, all the PCs and NPCs who are in that, like... Basically system. everybody, yeah. <laughs> uh, a, I hope you succeed, down. because good oh, luck. Good, I have a focus. Quant stamina. Right. Okay, so four, then four, 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 four. <laughs> So, 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah, so you, Russo got, did it. Pasha did not. And then, alright. So, those who succeeded take less damage, but for those who failed, you're going to take. Uh, 22 penetrating damage. Yeah, this is a powerful spell. And 
for those who fail, or for those who succeeded, you're only going to take... Uh, it's 2d6 plus magic. Uh, yep. You will only take... Nine. Okay, nine penetrating. And does anybody die from that? Oh, no. Uh, um, no. I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna say that the two random citizens here do die. The two right. random ones. So they become... They become ghouls. Okay. Is it, like, instantaneous? Do they right away become I ghouls? I mean, it's, we, we don't specify, so it's up to you. Yeah, okay. up to you. I feel like... I feel like instantaneous is just too powerful. I feel like they've become tainted, so they probably will become ghouls over time, but not okay. right this moment. So they um, will be struck in. Also, does that kill uh, the mom? Um, no, the mom Damn actually it. still is doing okay. Well, okay. <laughs> so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was in taint magic mode. Sorry, I need to roll an additional d6 on both of those. Oh okay. shit, okay. right, it doesn't work. Oh, damn it. Made me even worse off. <laughs> um, and I didn't add the extra spell power, but uh, whatever, it's fine. So everyone takes an additional three penetrating. Three, okay. All right, then okay. I'm gonna go. Heh <laughs> 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 Retreats. Right. He's done his duty. I did my big thing. Visually, what does it look like visually when you cast this spell? Basically, um, uh, Daritham has been uh, trying to gather the power in his own tainted blood, but hasn't quite succeeded until finally this moment where he just in frustration rakes his claws down his chest and the blood starts to pool out before he expels it and there's this burst of mist as almost like the blood evaporates and suddenly goes into the lungs and nose and eyes and everything of all the surrounding uh various creatures and it starts to burn and claw at their lungs and at their very beings okay so everyone gets affected by this horrendous horrendous spell um and the people around you, the the unnamed NPCs around you, they start hacking up black blood, just like hacking it up. Um, and those two just collapse. And Corin, again, he seems to <coughs> seems to be very badly affected, but he's still standing. Your mom, um, she uh, kind of buckles down and she starts heaving and retching. Um, and all this black blood is like, um, is, is, get, is, is like flowing down her mouth. It actually starts to like come down her eye sockets Ugh. too. Like this black blood, so it's eye sockets. And um, she just continuously coughs and coughs and coughs. Um, but that's all that will happen for like the next six seconds. And then as everyone kind of has that all that happen, you just hear <laughs> as the a uh, chuckling shriek and steps back. Rousseau, what happens with you next as you see this? I'm absolutely terrified now that I've seen Mist come and essentially just murderify everything. Then I'm... Um, what I, I basically see Deerfa making his escape, right? Mm-hmm, basically. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm going to shamble myself up to the... I'm only at 18 hit points. I feel like that still would have hurt really bad. I'm going to push myself up off the ground and yell, Corin, we can't win. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and basically start running this way so I can start pushing him forward if he doesn't want to go, and then I'm going to kick this dark spawn down. <laughs> okay. Let me straight check. Not doing hot. It's a 15. It's a pretty 15? good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. 15. Yeah, that'll hit. Roll for damage. Would that be enough to knock him prone? Yes, that'll be enough to knock him prone. So he is now prone. Yeah, I'd like to think I come up to him and just kick him in the knee and like punch him down as I'm going to Corin. <laughs> okay. This dark spawn will, I guess, continue trying to attack Pasha. Um, he does 13 points of damage. I'm down. Ooh, he's right. near HP. So she just knocked unconscious. She's unconscious and All right. could be bleeding so out. So you're 
you're currently unconscious from that. <laughs> and with that, Salit uh, cries out. Um, this dark spawn will try to attack Salit. Uh, will hit Salit. And doing seven points of damage. Salit's not looking so good. Amazing either. Um, okay. It is Salit's turn. So, is chugging a potion, is that a... Uh, it's a minor action. Uh, minor action to activate. It's a minor action? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so as a minor action, he actually takes out a healing potion, and he just, he just, and he ends up, like, forcing it down Pasha's Pasha throat. Okay. So, healing, I feel like healing, they what's, didn't really specify. What's the healing potion? Is it like a minor or a normal? A normal. Normal, that's a 4d6 plus con. Ooh! Oh, Pasha. 40, go ahead, Pasha, roll 4d6 plus your con, and that's how much you'll heal. You're welcome. That's a big heal. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 a, it's a normal potion, and like a, it's, it's like one of the normal potions of Dragon Age, so it's a big heal. 22. <laughs> hey, there you go. Nice, you get 22 <laughs> hit points back. <laughs> but I think you're still prone, though. Yeah. 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 She's, she's okay. Okay, and he is going to now do um, another swing. That will be enough. Uh, he will manage to uh, just enough to kill that dark spawn. So that dark spawn goes down. Aww. Is it strategy? Henry. Oh, poor Henry. 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 I like that one. <laughs> He was two weeks from retirement. <laughs> Pasha, you are back on. You are back. You are prone, okay. but so is the dark spawn next to you. Is also prone, but you're alive. Can I? As I'm prone, can I just smack my fist down into its head? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. You're both prone, so I will let you do I'll that. Just yes. look over and boom. Nice. Yeah. That will hit. Roll for damage for the gauntlet. So that two points. Two plus five. Five. five? Yep. Yes. Uh, give us a cinematic of you just backhanding, <laughs> just backhanding this dark spawn to death. Her eyes kind of open, and she looks to the side. I like to imagine she makes eye contact with the dark spawn, and she just nope, and just like smacks it, go, going like like probably cracking it somewhere in the temple. Just, Legion backhand. <laughs> and then she's going to attempt to stand up. More to come by the Um, I'm gonna say that uh, we'll move on to the next to the next round. Okay. So, um, Lyria. So she is not looking good at all, and. You can kind of see Pasha. I would say even you could sense that the life within her is like ebbing away in her veins, and she's still like uh, she starts um, in in addition to the blood that's coming out of her mouth. She's also starting to foam in the mouth. It's sort of this black foam, gurgly foam, um, and she collapses on the ground and starts to like sort of having like convulsions like it's all, almost like seizure seizure convulsions right now um and we will move to the next to the next uh scene back to back to Tyrion and and uh yeah. I have done my duty I have killed yes. the mom <laughs> I have killed the mom <laughs> uh, Disney villain right uh. Future drama established. <laughs> Future drama established. Established. <laughs> um, Tyrion and Leon, what's going on? So I think Leon is first. Leon, you are holding on for dear life. I will ask that you make a strength check. Oh to, man, to I hold your, am to not hold the on. Strongest boy. I didn't uh, think so. Believe strength. in the leaf. Okay, nine. nine? Five sun points. All right, five sun points. With five sun points. Oh. Is there a stunt called, uh, don't die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there a stunt that can help him in this situation? Um... Skirmish, skirmish. Yeah, you could skirmish, I'd say. Because he can move himself. 
mm-hmm. uh, a square per skirmish. Yeah. So maybe I that pull five times. up. Maybe go pull. The way I'll translate this is I will say that nine wasn't quite enough to to maintain your grasp. However, with a skirmish, I will say that you'll be able to cancel that out and just be able to um, to hold on to hold on to the shackle. Um, and now you can act normally, whatever you want to do, minor action, major action. Um, can I climb up as a major action, or...? Yes, roll me another strength. Okay. Uh, oh. Ooh, wow, that's... Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you nice. will be able to start to pull yourself up. You're not going to be able to pull yourself up completely over the edge of the bridge but at least, you know, make some some progress. Um, Tyrion, what do you do? I'm going, I'm just gonna grab the leg, Leon, I'm gonna lift him over like to the wall with, with what I can do, so as you can see he's crawling up the shackles. Roll a strength. Strength again, alrighty. Uh, wow, wow, uh, wow. 10. <laughs> Another 10. stunt. 10 with one stunt point this time. Uh, I'm doing my best to just uh, lift him up. Oh no. Ah, uh, uh, he's gonna be Don't drenched. Don't die on me, man! Dude. He's gonna be drenched with sweat. And he's gonna have like a little, little hard time clinging to things. It's it's cold. I'm using all my strength. I can just like pull him up uh, with me. So, all right, you will drag him up, um, and I'm gonna stop uh, combat order. I'm gonna stop initiative order. So, role play the rest of this this out. The two of you. I pull him up to like to the uh, to the wall. Hey, get off here! Oh, uh, You're right. And I kind of just the back. So. Ah, damn, um, those, those shackles were useful, actually. Kind of yeah. say it jokingly. Surprisingly useful. Maybe maybe you should keep those as a as a fashion statement. Don't 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 even try. <laughs> don't no. Ah, what was that? What is uh, this? I, I don't know, but I'm I'm worried about my parents. Uh, uh, do you know where the cart went? I, I, I look around for the cart. I, I don't know. Maybe it went that way. Um, we should get off the bridge first, cause I don't I don't wanna I wanna have a repeat. Is there a way to like get off the bridge actually? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So everything is on its side. So you can, you know, kind of make your way off the yeah. bridge. We'll just crawl on the walls. <laughs> and you're just kind of like sort of crawl on the walls yeah. for a bit. Eventually, though, things will shift again, and it'll start to level itself. We roll onto the ground. <laughs> no, you're, you're fine. Okay. You'll start to level yourself, and you're, you're on the ground now because you've been climbing. As the world writes itself, kind of, back to the surface, you find in front of you, uh, while you're on the ground, a pair of shoes as somebody standing over you. A pair of shoes that you don't recognize. Look up. Oh, slowly look up, yeah. You look up and you see a figure. Um, it's actually an elf. And the elf um, is dressed in, mm, I'd say, rather relatively nice looking clothing, like leather, leather armor. And he's he's got um, these gloves on and a gauntlet that's, the gauntlet it specifically has like a very beautiful ornate looking scaled design on it. Could be? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? That character. Ah, yes. uh, it is him. <laughs> Damn, I just, I just look up. What? Hey, you've got those pointy ears too. Uh, Delwyn kind of tilts his head, very confused, and he says, What are you two kids doing out here by yourselves? Uh, lost? Um, Raised eyebrow. Uh, some things attacked us? It, it, it wasn't our choice. Um, yeah. Well, come on, come on, get up, he says as he, as he, like, as he picks you guys up. Yeah. Kind of stand up. Uh, do you, did you see like a, a really shiny cart um, by here earlier? A cart? Yeah. Yeah. Look, kid. Look, he says, I've 
I haven't seen any carts, I'm sorry to say. Did you see a horse bolt by here earlier? A horse? I did actually see a horse galloping off somewhere. Hmm. That's all messy. We should probably go find her. She'll be really cold tonight. Yeah, we can, but... What, what just happened? I kind of look... I have no idea. There was some big explosion up in the sky and all of a sudden... <sighs> these demons or spirits or whatever started spewing out of it. <sighs> can I look around? Um, I'd, I'd like to find my parents, if we could. Yeah, kid. Parents? Yeah. Sure. I'll tag along to help you guys out. <sighs> Just stay close. Alright. I'm Leon. Who, who are you? My name's Delwyn. Yeah, just Delwyn. How about you? He says, looking over at Terran. Terran. Uh, uh, just Terran. Look like you got a little bit roughed up already, he says, looking at, down at your your wounds. Uh, I just need to uh, bend it, uh, just aid that a bit, and it'll be good. Just if only had some medical supply, medical, like, herbs around. He go, uh, he, he digs into his pocket and he pulls out a potion bottle. Would this help? Uh, yeah, I guess. Sure. I kind of take it. It's a normal potion, no. so you can heal yourself. All right, back up to full then, or <laughs> if you want to, yeah, I think that's that probably makes sense. Yeah, because it's if it's a normal healing potion, it's 46 plus my con, which yeah, that's a, <laughs> a lot of HP. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> So you go ahead and you follow Delwyn, and just in this, for the sake of time, uh, there'll probably be other attacks on you. Delwyn's probably going to be able to help defend. You guys will probably, f you know, fight as well. Um, and he's he seems to uh, he seems to not be a stranger with combat, and he, he strikes you as an adventurer of some sort. And um, he's got these, these really amazing like moves, like this flaming uppercut Shoryuken like thing <laughs> that he does, which is really flashy. Shoryuken. Um, but eventually, after journeying together for maybe uh, a half a day or so, maybe a half a day, you will actually um, hear uh, voices cry out, Leon, Leon, echoing. And you can see that your parents um, uh, are calling out to you from this fancy schmancy looking carriage again. And the carriage, like, will pull up. Um, he's gonna look a little bit at Tyrion and, you know, sort of get the look. Do you want to go back? Can I think for a bit? I have to. Uh, he's gonna look at, at uh, Delwyn and say, well, Mr. Delwyn, thank you. And then he's hey, gonna very much. Uh, run over and be like, "Mom, mom." Uh, Delwyn will will um, just kind of nod and uh, says, "Yeah, you take care of yourself, there, kid." Um, and then Delwyn kind of looks over at Tyrion's direction, and uh, he he has a little bit of. I don't think he necessarily realized what Tyrion's situation was, but now that he sees the big cart and he sees the big Tevinter looking guy mm -hmm. coming out of the cart, he's starting to put two and two together. And so he looks over at Tyrion and your eyes meet and he said, you gonna be okay? For now. But I don't feel like this is the time right now. He sort of uh, kind of just nods with a poker face. Um, and he says, I'm gonna skedaddle, looking at uh, the Tevinter guy again. Thank you. And uh, he will he will leave. Leon's parents uh, come up, and your mom like rushes to you, and she clutches you tightly, says, Oh, Leon, thank the maker, you're okay. There, there was there was a big wisp and it went ah rah rah and we were like ah ah and then and then I was like pew pew and he's like ah. I I go up to the master, Amarin. <sighs> Where were you, Tiran? I was looking all over for I, you. Something happens, uh, master. I don't know. Just took us to some bridge. 
We survived. I can see that. Little worse for wear, but I can see that. He looks over at the the family and he sees Leon, and he looks down at you, uh, Tira, and, and 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 he says, "What happened to your shackles?" Uh, had to break them open to escape uh, from some uh, spirit creatures, demons. I see, he says. Um, and then he looks over towards uh, Leon's direction. And Leon, he, when, when you're, if, if you look at uh, the master, he sort of, uh, he's sizing you up a little bit. And then he, he gives you a little bit of a, of a smile. Sort of like, I don't know, the, the whole um, Voldemort giving, giving um, a hug to Draco Malfoy. You know, with a smile, kind of smile. It's a little <laughs> bit uh, creepy when I, he does. I, I kind of look the master. Can I give him? Uh, I will. I will take whatever punishment is for the shackles I've done. My apologies. So, uh, going to look over at the the master, sort of smiling at him, and then uh, Tyrion over there, being cowed, and then give a little grumpy, grumpy expression. Mm, grumpy expression. Okay. Your mom will say, "What's wrong, Leon?" The- uh, uh, Tyrion, Tyrion's real nice, and and he he helped fight off the the monster, and I don't I don't feel good when 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 he looks like that. David kind of looks at you and says, "I get it, son. I get it. He's he is a little scary, I I suppose." He says, looking towards towards the man. Um, the master doesn't hear any of this, and so he just looks at Tyrion and he says. Tyrion, go into the carriage. I, I just kind of give us, uh, I give like a bow, and I kind of look at uh, Leon. Kind of, we give him a wave of goodbye, and I just uh, <laughs> go into the carriage. Bye, Tyrion. Goodbye, Leon. <sighs> and he's going to turn to the the parents, and he says, <sighs> "Do you both need a lift back to the edge?" And uh, David will say, if you could spare it, that'd be great. Um, Because you don't have your cart anymore. (laughs) Says, very well. We'll see if we can take you to the port and make our way out of this nightmare and get to the bottom of it. And um, they will, for the rest of the the day, um, you guys will be in the carriage as well. Um, but you're going to have your own private section, so um, you're not actually going to be able to interact with Tyrion mm-hmm. um, again. Yeah. And um, fortunately, whatever is happening crazily seems to be isolated in that section mm-hmm. of the map. So everything still does seem to clear up and things seem to be relatively back to normal as, as they manage to get you out of the edge of this whatever is happening. Um, and I'm going to say that uh, before you leave um, Tyrion and and uh, Leon go, and go your separate ways, um, there is a moment where the two of you um, are able to like make eye contact. I don't know if any of you guys do anything as either of you turn to leave to your respective respected places. I will. I'm going to take out the leaf, and I'm kind of going to uh, mount the words. I don't know if you understand, and above mount the words, I'll keep it safe. Uh, he's going to pull out another another leaf and then uh, uh, do the same thing. I would just go, Woo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Season, season two timeline is done, it seems. Season two? <laughs> I killed the mom. That was powerful. that was my one goal in the entire combat. I was just I want to kill the mom. Kill, kill the, the mom. mom. Kill the mom with the most powerful spell that was in, in this in that. Uh, well, here's the thing. Magic. I wanted to end that combat, and frankly, <laughs> there's no other spell that does five d six plus and six d six plus magic penetrating damage. So. Yeah. Dare them. Let me get back to you. So there's okay. him. You finish twirling, <laughs> twirling your mustache as you make your way and continue wreaking havoc throughout the city of Kirkwall, 
and even more people unfortunately lose their their drastically short lives thanks to you um, many mothers are slain <laughs> yes many mothers are slain um, however the by this point a good mem a good amount of the Kirkwall guards have um, started to push back and fight back um, and there will be a moment where there's going to be the shower of arrows as several archers are trying to um, force back your forces. And one arrow in particular managed to lodge itself right on your shoulder. And you are, uh, you continue to your assault um, as more and more of the guards uh, come. And it's becoming, it's looking, it's starting to look a little, uh, a little bleak for, for your particular squad of Darkspawn. Mm -hmm. And, um, as many of your kin starts to fall one right out of the other around you. And I'm gonna say when things get really desperate, like what is your reaction? Do you do you stay and fight to the dead end or do you flee? What is your Oh no, the, this this shriek emissary is smart, um, which is why it stayed alive for a, over a millennia. So when the going gets tough, I ensure to order like my my herlocks or shrieks or whatever, my, my fodder in front of me so that way I can make the first retreat and then just go like a backing retreat. The, the Archdemon has plenty more that we can regroup with. All right, so you will do that. You will try to get away from the, the archers and you will try to make your strategic retreat. retreat. As, you, as you do though, you turn a corner and unfortunately you run into this big long line of guards um, who are ready to charge in and attack you and it doesn't seem like this might be a fight that you're going to survive but I know sweetheart he's upset too <laughs> yeah it's okay. there them had so much potential <laughs> but at the very last moment you hear a a big roar as this giant ogre um, well, no, I wouldn't say giant. He's still shorter than many of the other ogres, but still big. <laughs> rushes in and just starts wailing around. He like smashes his arms, waving his arms out and just smashing them all around, toppling all of the guards around. And he sort of like rushes, uh, as, the, as the guards have been toppled over, he like rushes towards you and he just kind of picks you up, dare them, and just drags you uh, just like leaps you out, almost like Incredible Hulk style, just grabs you and just drags you away. And the thing about this particular ogre that is... In some pack of, of Daretham's mind, he's, he would imagine thinking, Thanks, Balm. Yeah, I have a picture right there. There he is. <laughs> Balm the ogre. <laughs> oh my god. That is, that is so great. That All right, so I got an ogre pet, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> As Daretham goes off into the sunset. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, back with um, Pasha and Corin and Salit and Rousseau. Um, your mom, Rousseau, does not look well at all. And by this point, she has completely grown unconscious. She's not responsive. She's still breathing, but it looks like she's, it's almost like she's drowning in this, this black foam. I, I imagine they kind of pull himself up off the, well, you're still standing. I feel like he would have uh, dropped to his knees, looked at uh, Corey and make sure he's still breathing just for a split second and then he's gonna basically lay down and hug his mother and start crying mom mom corin cry cries out and he's like trying to trying to shake her trying to get her to respond um but she's like her eyes have like like sort of like fallen back almost like behind her head almost 
and the the tears are streaming down Corin's eyes as he's desperately calling out, "Ma, mommy, mommy, mommy! Look, we 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 got you a birthday present. Look, isn't it pretty? It's a it's a dragon. Just, come on, mommy, please. Look, please, ma." And he just his voice just cracks. Um, Salit just stays silent watching this. What does Pasha do? Pasha very gently is going to touch Corin and Rousseau's shoulders and she's just going to say, come on, it's time to go. We need to go. Help her. Help her. Salit says, I, I have a potion, but I don't know if it's going to work. Do it, Corin says. <sighs> Salit reaches into his pack and he, he hands it over to Pasha to give it to the mother. Pasha is going to... She puts like her hand underneath the woman's head to try and kind of get some decent leverage. And she pours it down her throat and... You attempt to do so, and the mother is still convulsing and being very, um, uh, she, it's, it's like half of the contents is just spilling over her mouth, and like maybe some of it is going down her throat, but, um, but, uh, as it's going down, you yourself are feeling, I don't think, I think it's, she's too far gone, I don't think this is going to work. Pasha is going to look at Salit and she's just going to take the children, get them to safety, I'll take care of her. All right, boys, come with me. And Corin says, no, we, we gotta go, we gotta go. And, and Corin takes his, his daggers out and he's actually starting to move in the direction that Daretham went, like towards Daretham's direction. I'm gonna basically tackle Corrin to the ground. What's your problem? Get off me, Russo! Do you think that we can really realistically do anything? <sighs> that the Darkspawn's he's going to he's going to die. I'm, I'm gonna kill him. I'm going to kill him. He says. But look at me. Look at you. Look at everyone else, and think how lucky we ought to even breathe. He says, I'm not just gonna stand here like a coward and let the one who murdered our mom to just run off without, without someone bringing him to justice. Then don't stand there. Leave. Live. Get stronger. Then get your revenge. He kind of pauses for a moment and, and uh, uh, roll a communication, Pasha. Roll of communication, um, persuasion? Yes. Persuasion, yes. one who speaks. That's a 16. Oh, nice. Okay. These words seem to disarm Corrin a little bit. And um, he's, he sort of, he looks towards the direction where Darethim is. He looks towards Russo, he looks towards his mom, and then he sort of, he continues to like grasp his hands around his daggers, but because of the 16, he decided to, he, he comes back. Um, and what does Rousseau do? Give, give me the necklace. Why? Do it. Fine. He just tosses it at you. I'm gonna just shuffle it up off the ground, and before we go, I'm gonna basically fold his mother's arms up like that and just kind of shuffle the necklace right there. And I'm just like, let's go. <laughs> you start to walk off, um, and Pasha, by this point, it seems like her wheezing is slowing down, like her lungs are weakening and she's about to have her final, final breaths. What do you do now that the children have left with Salit? What do you do with this woman? 
Tasha is going to, um, because she, the only weapon she has is a gauntlet and she's not going to punch this woman to death, she's going to grab one of the Darkspawn weapons and um, she, she just, she holds it over this woman's heart and she just kind of strokes her hair a little bit and says, shh, don't worry. They'll be all right. I promise you. And she's gonna just jab it in. Yes. Stop her from suffering. I- I'm going to say that as you're stroking her hair and you say that, I'm gonna say that you feel her hand. I don't know. If, I don't think you were holding her hand necessarily, but she might have gotten a hold of your wrist, and mm-hmm. she sort of gives it a a squeeze, mm-hmm. almost to say thank you almost to say thank you, she gives it a squeeze. And that is when you strike her through the heart. And when you do, uh, more of the blood coughs out of her. And again, her her hands and her wrist starts to shudder a little bit, but then they die down and relax. Pasha will, she, she pulls the sword out and she's just going to very quickly wipe the blood off of her face so that when someone finally does come to collect the body she won't look so terrible she very quickly wipes her face and then she's going to run in the direction that um Salit took the boys Rousseau while you and Corin are making your way back, I guess, home. Um, Corrin sort of stops, uh, and he doesn't, he stops following you. What do you do? I won't notice it immediately, then I'll, uh, once I get like two, three steps ahead of him, I'm gonna stop and turn around, still red-eyed and shaky. As you do, you caught a glimpse of, of, um, where you guys lived, because you are elves, so you were in an alienage, and you can actually see um, the alienage from afar, and you can see the burning fire from the tree, the tree that you guys had uh, held very dear as as a sacred um, monument in the square of your city seems to be gone and destroyed. Um, And you can then, if you turn to Corrin, Corrin's sort of like in desperation like leans against the wall and he almost like he kind of punches the wall kind of in rage and frustration it looks like it probably hurt his fist a bit but he doesn't seem to care it's not fair first dad now mom it's not fair no no it's not I don't have any right words to say, because there are none. Corin, I'm sorry that Dad left, and I never would have in a million years thought we'd be here now watching our home burn. For me, you need to be for each other more now than ever. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to slowly start to embrace him. You do, and he's he's still cathartic, like he's still in shock. So he doesn't actually return the embrace, um, but he lets you. And he just says, this isn't justice. This isn't justice at all. I am going to, you and I, we're gonna get stronger. We're gonna get stronger and we're gonna, we're gonna make this right. Somehow we're gonna make this right. And we'll fucking find that dog spawn and splatter his brains. <laughs> yes. You and I, right now, we're gonna make a promise. We're gonna make a pact that before, before either of us end our last breath, that we will hunt down that dark spawn and destroy him. I'd like to 
think they find Russo kind of tightens his grip as the two of them basically sit down and watch the city burn while things are happening. Just kind of like slowly saunter to the ground in pain. Do you promise me, brother? Even if it takes my last breath. Um, and I guess he'll he'll spit in his hand, I guess, and then hold it up to shake. And then Russo will spit in his, and then... Okay. And we will end session one there. Nice. Very nice. Oh my god. The drama yeah. is real. <laughs> the drama is real. <laughs>